When you go beyond two days, the published literature is, is, is to a great extent conflicting with what you read on the internet, um, particularly around effects on resting meta metabolic rate and preservation of lean body mass. And uh, this is not my research. I learned this from people, and I met some of the people who did this in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. So, but what they demonstrated is in the, after two or three days of total fasting, you get through that through the initial phase of, of catecholamine-driven response, um, where metabolic rate actually does go up. And there's no loss of, of lean mass based on measuring the body <laughs> excretion of protein breakdown products. But by day three, protein breakdown products in the urine start coming out. And I've done studies where we've done this with the ketogenic diet to look at, help determine what is the protein requirement to maintain lean body mass when you're a ketogenic diet. And people who I, I spoke with yesterday in the breakout room, you know, we discussed the fact that the, the recommended dietary allowance in the US is 0.8 grams per kilogram of reference body weight. For the ketogenic diet, you need 1.5 grams per kilo. We did that by measuring nitrogen balance, protein in, breakdown products coming out. How do you maintain or improve lean body mass? And that's the amount one needs with a ketogenic diet. When you feed no protein and no calories, by the fourth or fifth day, the average healthy, otherwise healthy person is losing something on the order of three fourths of a pound of lean body mass per day. And when you get out to a month, it's a quarter pound still. Um, and studies have been done, but not just on, on, on you know, whether a person stays alive, but what happens to strength and function. Uh, and for instance, hand grip strength um, goes down at a month, measurably, uh, when you do that. And resting metabolism uh, starts going down. At the, at the end of the first week, it's down about 10%. And at the end of a month, it's down over 20%. And what nobody has studied that I know of is when you finish a fast for a month and resting metabolism is significantly decreased, how long or to what degree over the next months does that come back up uh, to or above previous baseline? Uh, the data isn't, I, I don't know if the data is there. If it's there, I would love to read it. But in the meantime, I think we need to be cautious about long-term total fasting. I have absolutely no problem with time-restricted feeding. I have no problem with total fasting up to a couple of days. Uh, all those, those changes can be recovered within, subs within a subsequent week without any apparent uh, illness. Well, if somebody has, has a terminal brain cancer and their, their life expectancy is measured in a matter of a couple months, um, a uh, total fasting uh, may extend their lives. And uh, I have no problem with that. Um, but it really has to be on a, a, a very carefully assessed risk-benefit ratio. It's, it's a well-established fact that, that for people my age, you know, I'm over 50. Really? Um, <laughs> that protein requirement to maintain lean body mass is increased relative to the, rec re the, the basic relative or, or recommended dietary allowances. It turns out that when you refeed somebody who has, has lost a lot of lean body mass, and I, the thing that really kindled my interest in nutrition when I was in medical school and then in my internal medicine training was seeing patients who, to me, were clearly malnourished. And this was in the days before we had tube feeding and total parental nutrition. And I could see patients on, that I was caring for, and we were doing the best we could to, to, to reverse their disease, whatever it was, but they, di they were dying of malnutrition. And so the idea that we could actually put a feeding tube in them or put an intravenous line, subclavian line, and give them total parental nutrition, that is all their nutrients as glucose, fat, and, and uh, amino acids, um, was, was revolutionary. And when we had severely malnourished patients and we plugged them into this feeding, the fastest we could get them to gain lean tissue was two to four ounces of lean body mass per day.